Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to install 30 days trial version of Cisco CSR 1000B into AWS. This will be helpful if you want to test all the features of CSR for 30 days or another use case is if you want to establish site to site VPN tunnel between your AWS infrastructure and your local LAN, you can use these devices. They are giving reliable and high performance routers with good throughput you can see the specification here you will even get 5000 mbps bandwidth within your cloud with this and we'll take a look into the pricing of this for the demonstration i'll be using t2 medium and for 30 days you will be getting this for free but aws will be charging for the infrastructure you can see the price of this i'll be running this from asia pacific singapore and i'll use this if you change to cisco csr 1000 v ax package you can see price is changing here i'll be using amazon ami instance and we'll use this particular instance type If you are going to use this for experimenting features, make sure you are cancelling this subscription within 30 days. I will show all those options and I will show you how to connect to this device from your local Ansible server. So here in the inventory, I have already added that device, AWS CSR and I am able to get the facts of the device and even from I'll be able to connect to the device. So by default, this will be using SSH key pair for the authentication. I'll give restart session and the username is EC2 user. So it is logging in without password. I will terminate this instance and show you how to create it and how to convert this SSH key pair into PEM format if you are downloading PPK from AWS and for the free trial package we have two options one is AX package so this is having all the features with high throughput and we have one more package it is security package with VPN support so later I might be using this for side to side VPN tunnel demonstrations and all so I will be using this particular package to subscribe to this what you need to do you need to continue to subscribe and you will be prompted with an agreement you need to accept that and install the device i have already subscribed to this i'll show even the subscription details if you go to the services and aws marketplace subscription So I have subscribed to this CSR 1000B router security package and it is started on November 5th and so this is ending in 30 days. So for 30 days they are going to charge only for the server. You can see here EC2 it is $0.046 per hour and after 30 days they will start even charging for software. So make sure you are cancelling the subscription and to cancel the subscription you can go to manage action and you can cancel the subscription from here now we'll take a look into the instances so this is the instance and its public ip is this i already have a vpc configured with private range of 192.168 I'll click on that so it's private IP is 192.168.0.5 and we can verify that even from the Ansible the address we are getting is the private LAN IP and host name is IP hyphen the device IP address this is a very simple playbook i just wanted to show you how to connect it from ansible 
all these playbooks I have explained earlier as well. Now we will terminate the existing instance and create new one. Go to instances. So we can run only one instance at a time for 30 days to get the free trial. I'll give terminate instance. Click on terminate. Now it is shutting down the device. Now here instance state is terminated. Now we'll launch the instance. I'll give the name CSR2. Browse more AMIs. Then click on marketplace and here we'll give CSR. Here we need to select free trial eligible. So I'll select security package. Click on select. And I have already accepted the agreement. So I'm not getting. If you're doing first time, you'll get an license agreement. You need to accept that. You can see the pricing of this. Click on continue. And by default, it is selecting C4 large. I'll select T2 medium. So that is having two virtual CPU and four GB RAM. Key pair I'll select is GP key. Then I'll select existing security group. Before selecting a security group, I'll change the networking. Here, I'll use this particular security group on premises. Later, for the VPN configs, I'll be using this particular network. And here, the subnet is 192.168.0.0. I'll give auto assign public IP enabled. And here we have on premises security group where I am enabling SSH and HTTP connection to the host. Now I'll click on launch instance. So it is subscribing to the marketplace. Click on the instance. and the status is pending. In the meantime, we'll see how to convert the SSH key into PEM format. For that, we can open putty gen and here, we need to import the key and here the key is SGP key and it is in PPK format. I'll open this on conversion and export open as such key i'll give yes here i'm not going to put any passphrase for this file and here i'll give csr new dot pem click on save and we can verify the content i'll open this file using notepad copy this go to the ansible server and for the previous device the key was located here what we'll do we'll put the file there itself and give home dev and 
dot ssh csr new dot pem i'll paste the content here save it and this file also i'll change to csr new and we can change the ip address of the device we'll go to aws console this is the public ip i'll change it here save and the default username is going to be ec2 user so we'll try running the playbook here i'm manually passing the inventory file this particular file i'm passing along with the ansible playbook so it is saying ssh connection failed connection refused device might be still booting we can even try this from the putty software i'll open this create a new session paste the device ip ssh authentication and here i'll select this putty private key file click on open open accept it and i'll give ec2 hyphen user so from here i am able to log in now let us try running from ansible again so now this is able to connect to the device and from here we can verify the private ip address so it is 0 0.13 now i'll go to the aws console instances and here i have one host on premises server i'll connect to that One ninety two one sixty eight zero dot thirteen, and I'm able to ping to the CSR router from the host which is located in same subnet. But from this instance, you will not be able to open the direct console. We can verify that if we click on connect, I'll give the username ec2 hyphen user. You will not be able to connect to the direct console of CSR device from AWS. You need to SSH to the device using the key. Later, I'll be creating a couple of videos on how to create side to side VPN tunnel and all using this. Before ending the video, I want to add one additional note about the software cost which I have noticed after spinning up the second CSR instance during the demo. This part I have recorded one day after recording the installation demo next day when i have checked my aws billing page i can see cisco has charged me one hour for the software usage during the demo you might have seen that i have terminated the running device and immediately spinned up a new device though the instance state was terminated it stayed in the ec2 console page for one hour i reached out to aws support and what they have mentioned is trial was on the previous instance and when I created a new instance, it is considered as second instance. And this licensing is controlled by Cisco. Later for my testing, what I have done, I deleted even the second device and waited for this to completely disappear from the EC2 page. I waited for more than one hour. After that, I spinned up a new device and it started counting here. So my suggestion is, if you're going to use this for experimenting features, 
make sure you're using same instance till the trial period ends if you want to terminate this and spin up a new device wait for the previous instance to completely disappear from the ec2 page then spin up the new device and regularly check the billing page and if you still have some billing issues reach out to aws support or cisco licensing support i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to install cisco csr 1000b trial version into aws thanks for watching see you in the next video